In this video, I want to show you how to uh, apply a cosmetic neural uh, to a surface. <clears throat> and Inventor, it, it, you got to go in and make a few edits to the uh, to the surface appearance to get it to work out right. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll go up here and I'll show you to start with. We'll go here to our uh, our appearances. We'll go down to neural 45 and see if you look at it. It didn't make any change, just changed the color of it. So I have to go in and edit that. So I'm going to go up here to my appearance editor, browser, sorry, appearance browser. And you want to search for it. Okay. And it's going to pick up a few of them. I've already edited one here. Probably what you're going to find is a neural 45. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> and the, these edits that we're going to do. Are going to be in the local document. I, you know, they're not going to be changing the uh, the library, but we're just going to make changes in the local document since you guys are working uh, on multiple computers, whether at home or in the lab. All right, so we we want to click that and pull that up. Um, stainless steel is fine, polished is fine. For the relief pattern, this is what we're going to change. We're going to go to a custom image. And you're going to, your first pop-up may not be in this directory, but this is where you want to go. It's going to be on the C, the C drive under Users, Public, Public Documents, Autodesk, Inventor, whatever version you're using, Textures, Bump Maps, and then you go down and find the Neural Bump .bmp. Okay, now this is one that I've already done and edited. Uh, we're going to use this one here, so we want to select it and see it pulls it in there. Now we want to click the image of it. If you see this this bump map or this graphic image is 12 inches square. That's why nothing is showing up on our part. So we want to change the scale of this, <clears throat> and this will be the if you know the actual size of the pitch or the pitch of the neural you're going to be using, you would use that. Uh, most times, 1 16th inch will be fine. Um, you know, so that somewhere around 1 16th of an inch. So we'll say, gotta click it. It didn't pick. There we go, 0 0.06. And everything else you can leave the same. You can leave the offset behind the rotation, the tile, all that kind of stuff will be fine. Okay. Uh, cut out since everything else will be fine right here okay so we're gonna go okay now I want to choose the surface that gets the neural come back into here and apply it and now you can see the pattern has picked up now this is just a cosmetic appearance it doesn't edit doesn't change the surface of it in any way. That's topic for another video. Uh, as far as dimensioning a neural, if you know the uh, the size of it, if you look in the textbook on page 385, it gives you uh, the information that you would need to to dimension a neural. And uh, that's it right there. Pretty easy, right? 